better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world known as capture recapture method. Earlier we discussed several uh, methods. We discussed uh, quadrat, we discussed line transect, and we discussed belt transect. Now, we are going to look at capture recapture. This is a method that is mostly used in determining or estimating uh, population of animals that are highly mobile. For example, fish, rodents, birds, insects. This method is very good for such uh, animals. Now, in this method, this is what is done. Uh, I'll take an example. You want to estimate the number of fish in a fish pond. This is what is done. Traps or nets, a trap or a net is set, are set in the target uh, ecosystem or habitat, like a fish pond. Nets are set in a fish pond. Then you set them overnight. In the morning, you count the number of fish that have been uh, trapped or captured. You count them, you mark them, and then release them into uh, the water. You capture, count, mark, and release. Those ones that were captured and marked and released, you record them as first marked. First Marked. After 24 hours, you set the nets again in the same uh, fish pond. Trap, count the number of fish that have been caught. The number that is caught the second time, you call it second capture. Second capture. Within the second capture, there are those organisms that have a mark from the first capture. Uh, those ones, we call them, uh, those ones, we call them marked returned. Marked returned. So these ones that have a mark from the first capture. This can be called first capture. First capture. So what we have is, we have the first capture, we put a mark, release them into uh, the environment. After 24 hours, we capture uh, the fish, we count them, record them as second capture, then out of the second capture, those that have a mark uh, will be recorded as marked return. The initials of this first capture is SC. Second capture, uh, usually is that FC. Second capture, SC. Third capture, M. R. Marked return. So we have FC. First capture, second capture is SSC, uh, mark return is MR. So to get a population, very simple, very simple method. To get a population, 
you do first capture multiply by uh, second capture divided by marked return. First capture multiply by second capture divided by marked return. Now, let me give an example. Uh, if you nets were set within a fish pond, and maybe after the traps are set, a uh, hundred fish or tilapia fish were caught. They were marked and returned into the fish pond. After 24 hours, nets were set again, and one twenty tilapia were caught. Out of the twenty that were caught, probably twenty of them had a mark. We call them marked return. So if you are to get a population, population would be P for population. Population would be a hundred per capture multiplied by 120 second capture divided by 20 mark returns. If that is done, you get 600. So the population of that uh, fish pond is 600 fish. If you do your calculations and get a figure like a half, like 50 and a half, we don't have half an organism. We run off to the nearest whole number becomes 51. During this study, there are some assumptions you make. Number one, you assume the returned animals after marking interacted freely with the others. Number two, we assume that the mark did not interfere with the behavior of the organism. Number three, we assume that between the counts, there was no organism that moved in or out of the ecosystem and the population remained constant within the counting period. However, there are precautions. Number one, the uh, marking method should be waterproof. Preferably, nail varnish can be used. Uh, the friction is the marking method used should not interfere with the animals, uh, with the behavior uh, of the animals. And as you do the count, make sure you don't harm the organism because in, in the first captain don't harm the organism so that they can interact freely with uh, the other organisms after they're released into the habitats. So, uh, students, that is the method we use for capture. Uh, you capture. Uh, look for other sample questions to do so that you will be able to find out whether you can get the population of uh, uh, an area uh, using this method of capture and uh, recapture. That is the end for our lesson uh, for today.